how to use the log data and how to create alert out of that we will see the basic things on this one now so go to the log section and go to log analysis this section will list out all the logs available so currently we are having the logs from uh, the one we set up only from one server this is apache log they show as a time series so the density how much log lines arrived and they are showing the watchdog uh, uh, watchdog data also when have enough varieties and enough data the watchdog will be created normally for 15 minutes they won't create we had to go for a large time range but since we have enough varieties they created the watchdog data so either four hours or big data also we can go for that click this one this will give a quick view so they are giving certain patterns how the data formatted since it's uh, coming from apache only they have a for certain pattern this is identified well the time formatted when the log line being written then uh, the uri then they have the um, uh, response code then a little bit of uh, browser details those are given here so this is a watchdog view once we go to the list view the log lines individual lines will be shown here also one point to show there is a time available 18th october uh, 20th uh, 23 uh, then 20th hours 28 minute here a different time is shown there are two three reasons for this one one is this is the exact time on the server when the log being written this is the exact time when the log being gathered but according to the data log server time so this time won't tally directly and we can't control it most of the time they are capturing in near real time but again both servers should tally to the same time range to show the same time so that one thing we need to consider the errors are identified automatically if standard patterns followed so there was errors generated like this we generated a mysql error then um, just try to load the page so that will uh, reflect here as an error 500 internal server error so those errors are arriving here so that's how they detect the error here but it is not a perfect solution because uh, if we have a custom lock and not following a standard way of doing it this particular thing won't properly not uh, notify us so this panel is giving us the standard filters um, so like uh, error wise or service wise services are one we defined when we are configuring the error line uh, host wise index wise so we can go like that the standard filter so standard filter also one of the way to uh, do the alert when we go to the alert section i will show that but additionally we can use the pattern also for example i want to go and see a certain thing like a profile but there are pages like profile edit so that pattern search we simply have to put it between single uh, double quote so profile then we want to apply and condition so space edit so i want to show c for edit and enter so it will search for that pattern so whatever we do click there there will be something profile and there will be something edit also see here profile and edit so they apply and condition and show the filter like that now this is a place we test how it will look like and how we can apply the filter so if I have multiple servers and uh, Java also there, so I can apply for the Apache service. So like this I can, so Apache service also applied and for it should be, it should have a word profile. It should have a word edit also and condition. We can copy this condition and go to the um, uh, monitoring. So to create an alert also. So we will go and see there. So how to create alert on that one. Go to logs then simply apply the same condition watch out the numbers so we are targeting four hours or we can go for one hour even so it will be full or oh, better one is like 30 minutes right so we have the full count here now we have to put the condition that uh, filter condition we applied best place is this
then turns off. This is a place we can edit as a code uh, or switch within uh, the using the feature to apply that. So we apply that, then the number is reduced. It was somewhere 100, I think. Even we can remove and see. So when whenever we apply more and more, more condition, the specific locks are only coming. If I remove this one and if I remove the end day condition, it should go to 200. Yes. So we apply the condition, it reduced to that particular URL. So best way to show is service Apache fine, but I want to delete the edit. So all under profile should come here. Number little increased, only profile pages came, but a subset of edit not come. Then we apply count of anything we can select like host, by host and all. So only by host is the best one. Um, then uh, the count will be there. So this count is unique count. Here we can apply by host. Then uh, we can project a time range like every five minutes, more than 80 is a problem, more than 90 is a problem like that we can set so above and certain number. So this is how we alert it. For example, 500 internal server error. It would happen. Not every time we have to go and alert it. So if we have such a thing, then we can set a, a threshold value like more than 50 within a five, five minutes or more than five, 10 or five within a five minutes a problem. Then we can set an alert and uh, follow up with that alert. So that's how it works. So analytic we seen, live trail, on the setting up setting up time we seen it so we can set here and see where as and then the alerts are arriving the logs are arriving so there will be a small collection delay so this is much fast it come but there is a small collection delay also there uh, maybe every 30 second they will their setting available they will go there and take all the log line and as a batch it will send it here so this is a live view of uh, same as in the linux tail command then one more thing we will see in this video that pattern so pattern we seen it, seen it in watchdog also so this is the one can be utilized when we try to create a metric out of uh, logs we will see it on another video so we need the pattern so uh, that Normally, we need to think about the pattern, but in this uh, particular scenario, they are allowing us to easily see the pattern. So they generate the pattern and give us. So date pattern is here. For some, there is a, a range given, uh, number range. For some, uh, we have a query string uh, in a clear indication, method available, first or what is the rest method used, response code available. So they are highlighting and showing a various pattern based on the locks. So this is not only error it is the access lock also there so this is what we will be utilizing if we want to create a kind of matrix so that's all as a quick summary how to use lock in datadog